Hello guys and welcome back to Custom Gamer. The show where we talk about level design while playing cool maps. Uh, this is part four of Black Mesa Source. Now uh, as we as I was talking about last episode, uh, we've just entered into the industrial sector where we first meet these hound eyes. No, I've gotta say the Black Mesa team did a great job of making these guys look supremely cute. And then they they blast into giblets with just the slightest provocation. <laughs> Made me feel really awful after bludgeoning them to death. But uh, hey, you got to do what you can to stay alive, I suppose. Hey, well, there's a couple of interesting additions to this uh, this part of the game when compared to the original Half-Life. Um, the main addition being that there's um, there's a pipe puzzle to open these doors here. You can see there in in the right, well, just here actually, these red lights uh, indicating that the doors are locked, and that there are various steam valves hidden around the level uh, which you have to turn off in order to set these lights to green and unlock all the doors. Um, while, while this is all fine and good, um, the only problem I had with it was that it, the relationship between the steam valves and this door isn't really explained. Um, in fact, the only reason I really noticed it was because just reviewing this footage in post-production, uh, you know, sorting out all the Half-Life 1 footage for the video as well there, uh, I just noticed that, uh, you know, the steam valves pertain to this door. Uh, I think when I was playing, I was just thinking, uh, oh yeah, steam puzzle, we'll just do that and carry on. I didn't really have any idea what it was for. And, uh, I think the relationship between the, you can see these giant red pipes here, which uh, connect to all the steam valves you have to open, but the pipes don't go anywhere near that room. Uh, you only notice more red pipes once you've actually got in there inside the locked door. So that could have been handled a bit better. But aside from that, this area is fairly faithful to the original. Obviously, again, like I mentioned in other parts of the mod, there's just like extra little side areas and, you know, little, uh, yeah, just basically, yeah, side areas, little doors you can open, things like that. But aside from that, it's actually very, very faithful. You can see here, just like up ahead, you've got. Just, just make sure this guy's dead. Really make sure. <laughs> yeah, here's our first steam puzzle there, which I'm just going to ignore apparently. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Something about valve games and red valve wheels. You know, you just you just got to press them all. Which is another kind of issue I had with the uh, Black Mesa actually. Is that um. There's kind of red valve wheels which are always kind of uh, usable, but I found one that wasn't. So there are... <laughs> when, when you're using a game mechanic like that, you really want to make sure it's consistent across your entire game or level or whatever it is you're building, so otherwise you're just going to confuse players. Oh, thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you and I'll unlock the door. Alright, so we'll do this. Uh, this guy was in the original Half-Life as well, I've got some footage to come up in a second so you can see uh, the route you take with him is basically exactly the same. Uh, he's just got a little bit more dialogue in this version. So it's Does kind anyone of fun. have a cell phone I could borrow? Unfortunately not. you think that a hazard suit would come with some kind of communication device, but uh, I guess not. I'm sticking to you like hydroxyl groups and alcohol. Maybe the science nerds in the audience can explain that one to me. <laughs> Wait! Maybe we can reason with it! Well, you're more than welcome to try, buddy. He's right over there. You go and say hello. So he thinks. As you can see there, to the right of me, there's the second uh, part of the steam, pu steam valve puzzle. Fantastic! I just think it's kind of weird that the, the steam valves themselves are kind of brightly lit with these red colours and everything and that it's obvious that you're meant to use them for something but it's just not clear what that is. Mm. Yeah, it's a shame. It would have been so easy to just have the red pipes continue pressing on? You know, linked to that uh, area with the red lights on the door. It would have been so easy to do that and... Uh, yeah. If your game mechanics only m make sense when seeing them for the second time, then uh, your game mechanics oh, are broken. Safe haven. No. 
Well, at any rate, over there's the weapons I spoke of. Yeah, you can stay here with the dead body, that seems perfectly reasonable. But finally, so we've got some grenades now, and uh, you'll all be glad to know that the grenade what is physics in this game are just as wonky as in the original Half-Life. <laughs> And this is kind of a, a recurring theme that I'll probably talk about a lot during this uh, Let's Play, is that uh, the, the team, at the Black Mesa team, have gone to such great lengths to replicate Half-Life in its entirety, including all the bad stuff. <laughs> Which is uh, a real shame that there was... While they have taken some artistic license to improve things in certain areas, like notably like the NPCs and things like that, obviously they're much better this time around. But the, some of the mechanics and just gameplay stuff is still just as crap as it was in Half-Life. For instance, grenade physics. <laughs> I mean, Gordon's got the throwing arm of, you know, a sea lion or something. I, I don't even understand how you can throw grenades as badly as Gordon does, but... I just, we're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> So this guy was just making way too much noise, so I had to take him out. I ended up using way too much ammo on this. I'm such a terrible shot. You'd think something this close would be easy to hit, but apparently not. We'll just expend an entire clip on something which should have taken three bullets. Never mind. Here we go. Everything's unlocked. And we can continue. So you'll notice in this room that we can get into, you can see the red pipes going into the tanks, but you just don't notice them outside of this room. It's a real shame. Nice uh, kind of frozen effect in here as well. Like with the NPCs, the team's using uh, some of the new tricks that zombies have learned from Half-Life 2, like for instance, hitting fizz, ob fizz objects at the player and things like that. Oh, yeah, we all remember this part. You can see in the Half-Life 1 footage this scene from the original. When I first saw this in the original Half-Life, I just had a, a giant smile on my face. It's just uh, seeing all these scenes for the first time, like, this is basically the first time you've had, like, giant scripted events like this in a first-person shooter. The, for the time, it was absolutely revelationary. It was uh, amazing. Now it just seems... Oh, a monster knocked down a door. Move on. <laughs> I guess the uh, nostalgia is strong here. Gordon, is that you? Is it safe? Ah! I'm sure we all remember this guy as well. Oh, oh dear. I do believe I soiled myself. right place um, then I suppose. Run along Freeman. I have some sordid business to attend to. Lovely. Enjoy that won't you? I'll uh, I'll just leave now I think. So there's a couple of additions here as well. There's just generally a lot more enemies here now. Like you've got a lot more barnacles and there's some zombies and things like that which weren't in the original game. It's also a lot darker. I really like the ambience down here. It's uh, pretty creepy. I was really wor worried that I was going to get lost and uh, not find my way out when I, when I activate the mechanism here. But uh, I must have done this section so many times in the original Half-Life, even after all these years, I can still remember the way.
are so many barnacles. Wow. Shit, this, this valve handle takes an eternity to actually activate. It's uh, quite annoying. But hey, we shall deal. You can see in, in the original you activate it and you just do like just a quick zigzag around the corner to get up to that ladder which you couldn't reach before. It's exactly the same in Black Mesa Source as well. to the next level. Now, if I should say the words to you, head crab lift, that should instantly spark a memory from Half-Life. Not a very good one, probably. <laughs> and uh, you'll either be glad or horrified to know that it has been replicated in its entirety here as well. <laughs> Um, I suppose it is slightly better in this one though, the headcrabs are generally a lot easier to avoid this time around. And uh, again, th this area's had a bit of a rework as well, so you've got this big security office at the top here, with the uh, gate control inside there, that you can't actually get to instantly like you could in the original map. It took me a little while to work out kind of what to do. You can see that there's the lift going down there. Um, if you don't know what I was talking about before, you probably do now if you've played the original Half-Life. <laughs> but uh, you notice that that head crab uh, kind of teleported in with that green light uh, as we entered the room. And what that's designed to do is kind of draw your attention up to the uh, vent in the wall. You see with the red light just there. But uh, I finally notice it. Just kind of dual reinforcement to uh, get you to notice this vent. Oh, I like it. Of course, me just being unobservant didn't recognise it, but I'm sure most people did. Now we get to slog through another mile of vent system. Yay! Half Life is the premier vent sim simulator. No one does it better. be really interesting to uh, have like a statistic when you finish the game like number of miles traversed in vents <laughs> now unfortunately I didn't notice it in the uh, in the as I was playing but uh, that mug on the table has the uh, guys from Chuckle Vision on it which was a British TV show during the uh, well was it eight, late 80s 90s um, I'm very proud to say that I did watch it when I was a child, and uh, it was amazing. If you're not British, then you have clearly missed out. They're probably on YouTube. So like I mentioned, this sequence is remarkably similar in Black Mesa to the original Half-Life. You kind of employ exactly the same tactic of uh, strafe back and forth on the platform to dodge the head crabs and they'll jump right over you and into the electrified water below, which seems to work really well. <laughs> Although I did manage to expend all my ammo, which probably wasn't too clever. Probably should have just used the crowbar here. Now you notice in the footage in the original Half-Life there was like a little raised up area you could jump onto and be perfectly safe. Well, that doesn't really exist in Black Mesa, so you have to deal with a lot of these head crabs once you hit the floor. My kung fu was strong and I managed to end up on top of this box, which does help. And then of course managed to derp and uh, break my only form of cover. <laughs> You notice in Half-Life 1 footage there, you had the Hound Eye that teleported into the crate. I thought that was a really nice feature that was mysteriously absent from Black Mesa. I did enjoy that part, but uh, it was, yes. 
mysterious by its absence. So they've had a lot more detail here now, there's lots more little nooks and crannies to explore. Unfortunately I didn't find anything, which is a bit of a shame. You'd think with such a large area like this, all these little uh, places to explore, that um, they might give you a couple of pickups or something for uh, having a look around, but uh, unfortunately not. And, uh, as we proceed we'll get in getting into the kind of where uh, I suppose you'd call it like the waste system of a uh, Black Mesa. And that hand I had a very bad day. So again if we look back at the uh, Half-Life 1 footage here, um, this seems probably uh, reminiscent for a lot of you guys. As you walk forwards, the, uh, it's actually a bull squid in Half-Life 1 that teleports in and breaks the uh, breaks the platform down. And then you basically take exactly the same route across the pipes here. That's a nice little touch added in Black Mesa, just uh, reinforcing that if you fall, you, you'll die horribly. So just making you feel a little bit more tense this time. <laughs> Minor and we can jump and take a bunch of falling damage. Yay. Alright guys, that's the end of part 4. In part 5 we'll be exploring the uh, sewer systems of Black Mesa. And uh, that will probably come out in the next day or two. So I'll see you next time.